Yo gang, what up? Coach Clint here, coming at you from the Jiu Jitsu studio. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not in my car this time. I think it's raining so hard right now, I don't think y'all will be able to hear me in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alright guys, uh, let's hit a couple of highlights here. Um, yoga this Saturday, like you know. Um, it's in Zen Planner, 10 a.m. So, uh, don't miss that. Uh, also, we are doing a little rebrand to the uh, 2.0 workout. We're going to call it the night train workout from here on out. So uh, we're going to be doing those on Friday nights and sometimes Saturday mornings. We're going to switch them up around one a month or so. And we're going to play around with um, canceling the normal 5.30 p.m. and replacing that with the night train workout. Same thing on uh, on Saturday morning. We're going to play around with canceling the normal 9 a.m. workout and then doing on this is, you know, when we do the night train. We'll cancel the 9 a.m. and we'll do it. We'll do the night train workout at 9 a.m., okay? So these workouts tend to be a little longer, a little more skill driven. Uh, Jesse West leads these workouts. And uh, don't, don't be intimidated by them, okay? Uh, a lot of our people like them because they are longer and maybe on the little harder side. But again, just like uh, we always do, we can always modify these we, these workouts, modify the exercises. If you're new, don't avoid these workouts just because they're a little longer and maybe you know a little harder. Don't avoid them. All right, we we can we can still get you covered there. Also, we are going to once every couple of months or so, we're going to do what we call Creed After Hours, which is kind of like a kind of like a workshop or seminar where we will uh, target a couple of specific moves a little be a little bit more form and technique driven uh, there there will be a small workout component to it but it'll really be a time when we can really drill and and um, perfect our form and our technique okay so we'll do those usually on Saturdays, and we'll do those once every couple of months. All right, so be on the lookout for after hours. All right, look, guys, the Wattify emails. All right, you, everyone uh, should receive the Wattify email that asks you to complete your contract or your agreement. I like the word agreement, contract, just sounds like you're signing in blood and we're never going to let you cancel and all that. Guys, we have a 30-day notice cancellation. It's month to month when and if you ever cancel hopefully you never will hopefully you'll be with us for 20 years but when and if you ever need to cancel give us 30 days notice and whatever payment is within that 30 day window that's your last payment to us okay so um, that's what you're going to be signing and agreeing to via that email but part of that email and that contract signing process you're going to need to put in your billing info and everything for Wattify so please 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 get that done most of you guys billing date is on the 10th and today is I guess the 6th or so maybe the 7th um, I think it's the 6th you got to get that done guys all right that'll uh, that'll help us and so we don't have to you know worry and stress about oh we're gonna be able to pay our bills this month because um, we missed y'all's payments or whatever so get those uh, answer that email sign the contract, put in your bill and info so that we can continue operating as usual. Also, some of you guys have downloaded the wrong Wattify app. You need to download the Wattify Athlete app, okay? There are a few different um, apps for Wattify in the App Store. You need the Wattify Athlete app, okay? It's a lot more user-friendly and it functions a lot better than some of the other Wattify apps that you'll find on there. So. Download that. Go ahead and begin um, signing into classes and stuff on Wattify because if you do that, you will then be able to very quickly and seamlessly um, enter your results for that workout. That's one of the main reasons we're switching over to Wattify is because the workout tracking and benchmark tracking in the Wattify app is, you know, miles ahead of the Zen Planner app. And you've got to track your results, especially in terms of strength, because it's like, hey, if we're not tracking how strong we are now, how are we going to know if we're getting stronger, if we're getting better, if we're, uh, if our fitness level is increasing? We need to be tracking those, those numbers and stuff. So, um, get the right app, that Wattify Athlete app, 
Go ahead and begin entering your results for these workouts on the new program, okay? That's going to be important. And then finally on that is you can, uh, at the end of the day, if you're a competitive person like me and um, you want to see kind of if your time stood, you know, stood up, for the rest of the day, how you did overall in comparison to the rest of the group, you can check that. There's a button down at the very bottom um, where you can select it, and it's I think they call it the whiteboard instead of the leaderboard. They call it the whiteboard, and it'll and you can uh, you can sort through the numbers. You can it can either be shown alphabetically or it can be shown by result. So in other words, whoever deadlifted the most weight there their weight or their score would be first and so on and so forth so play around with that get used to it but most importantly from this member updates check your email please uh, follow the steps to sign your agreement and put in that billing info and everything like that so that we can um, continue operating as usual all right gang y'all have a great day stay dry today and uh, we'll see y'all soon